So I'm stretching the definition of what constitutes a walkthrough a little bit for this one, but I have just had an inkling for playing some old Flash games recently. My YouTube recommended has just suddenly been inundated with so many videos talking about old Flash games from my childhood. And I can only imagine part of that is because of the success of Flashpoint. So Flash games were something that was very difficult to play. Uh, Flash was retired, so trying to play some of these old gems was basically impossible. But now you have Flashpoint, you have other third party softwares that has allowed us to get back into playing them. And I just kind of wanted to relive my childhood a little bit when I was playing dodgy games off newer grounds when I was in the IT lab at school. And so we have a very short and sweet one here called Divine Intervention, where you play as a priest when the world has gone mad with these zombie-like demon creatures. And quite famously, this game was created by the same person who would go on to create Happy Wheels, one Jim Bonacci. So as we go through this, the beginning part of this is the most difficult. You only have a pistol and you have to really just hammer the left click to make sure you kill these threats. These children are way more dangerous than the adult. Like they move a lot slower so you can kind of like backtrack as you're gunning them down. And dear God, for a very small flash game, not only was this hyper violent, which is obviously why edgy children like me loved it, but the amount of damage you can do to bodies is just insane. So when you get the Uzi, you can just hold down the click and kind of what you want to do is just be aiming around knee height because children will be running at you and you want to make sure that you can kill them. If you shoot them quick enough with the Uzi, it slows them down a little bit. And as we go to pick up the shotgun, make sure you backtrack a little bit to kill that little bitch before we get the shotgun, which we are immediately going to not use. It's just not as effective to use it. So just keep firing. You have unlimited ammo. And even if you don't, so when you're shooting them in the legs, these adults, you won't be doing any damage to them, but you can at least be hitting them enough to stun them in place. And then you have these little mage ones, so you can either duck under them or jump over, depending on where his finger's pointing, and <laughs> flash game joy, just <laughs> moon sliding along. Uh, the demonic priests that you fight, you want to keep shooting them even if they have their shield up. So I made the mistake the first time I came back to doing this, is assuming that eventually the shield goes down. Now keep shooting it until it, that's what actually forces the shield down, and then they die. And as you move forward, a little bit of a cameo that's going to come up. How on earth is that half-dead guy still standing? Uh, yeah, one of the old guys from Happy Wheels. Same model. We could shoot him, but we're just going to give him can live a little pat on the head. He's just, he's just scared, bless him. And then the final point, very short and sweet game. Uh, we need the shotgun for the final boss. The Uzi will not hurt this guy. Uh, probably a good idea to keep ducked because a few of his attacks come over the top and the other attacks that will force us to jump up, we can do quickly. So just keep your weapon aimed at his head and make sure you react quickly. When he points at us like then, he'll shoot down a bolt of lightning. If you don't shoot him quick enough, then he'll just zap your head off. A proper brain burst from Warhammer. Uh, the flame attack and the swooping attack goes over and then he will also shoot these weird little maggot things. How is he still alive? His brain is completely exposed. And that's it, that is Divine Intervention. Short and sweet. But it, go and play it, uh, download Flashpoint, I think we're on version 13 right now, if you do fancy some of these, these older games, blasts from the past. And this game is a lot harder than it looks. It's only, what, this video is like what, under four minutes, so it looks pretty simple. But I do not want to tell you how many attempts it took <laughs> just to get that. And unfortunately, we never got a sequel because Jim Modaki ended up working on Happy Wheels instead, which became a massive, huge success. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this very silly Flash game. See you next time.